things. I didn't know how big these things were. Essentially, I'm just gonna lay them back here, stick them on this area. I'm gonna use these big black ones since they seem to be the better ones. They have a little sticky back. Peel that off. Some people online have tried different things, but there seem to be confusion about whether or not you can cover those holes up or not, so I'm not going to. Sticky back. So it looks like I am covering up one hole, but also some smaller ones in here, these little guys. Well, I don't know what this is for. There's no directions on these things, so I could be doing this wrong. Looks sloppy, but we'll see how it works. Just clarify, there's only two screws to put this thing back on. I will take it off even one. So all I gotta do is put the screw on the side piece. Good void your warranty, of course, but that's the risk you gotta take, I guess. Right, you don't need to see me try to struggle screwing this in. So I installed these heat sinks a while ago, probably over a month ago. And I haven't done a good job of checking my temperatures. So we're going to do that now. So today it is 82 degrees. It's June 16th, Tupac's birthday. So I've been, uh, I've updated the UI to the blue UI as they call it. And I've added the smart launcher, which I kind of like. Um, now I'm just going to find my tool. There we go. Let's check out old CPU-Z. So, I just now started it, but it has been sitting out the sun for a long time. This is probably won't be a good test. I'll try to remember to test it again later. I just want to get a couple of these. At this point, I don't remember what the original one was. So, But the system's been up for two days, right? Because um, it, it stays in that sleep mode. So that's showing 43 degrees Celsius. But again, it just came on. It was, I'm in the shade now. I just pulled the shade. It was out in the direct sunlight. And I'm going to try to put some sound dampening in here. So, yeah, that doesn't really tell you anything. But yeah, you can see the Jeep makes it say 6 degrees. So, uh, I'll try to remember to check that every so often before I update this video. Alright, so the Jeep thinks it's 99 degrees. The watch says 93. Just gonna check the temperature on the old sock. Yeah, I just started driving. It's been sitting out. Jeep has been sitting out in the sun all day. That one says 81, 77, 76. 
So, obviously a lot higher than it was the last time I checked it. Uh, so, like I said, it's 424, 93 degrees. Pretty hot day. I'm going to do some errands and I'll try to check this in later on and then I'll pile all this together. Alright, so I went to the store, Sam's Club, and I can see it or not. Let's see if it's changed any. 42.4 here still. Now we're showing 60. 55, 56. But I just started this. So. I don't know if it gets cooler when it's running or I don't really know how that works. Either way, that's what it's showing. Check back in a little bit. Alright, so uh, it is now, as you can see, 520. Google says it's 95 degrees. And Jeep says 100. And Samsung says 93. So, let me go ahead and I'm going to close CPU-Z. And go open it again fresh. Hopefully that makes it refresh. And we're showing... So it's been running for three days still. A lot of sleep function. Still shows 42.4 here, which I think it just shows that all the time. Oh, I'm positive though. And here it's showing 66 and 67, 68 pounds per round. As you can see, I'm downloading stuff in the background here, downloading music. And uh, as I've driven from my last destination, this is from Sam's to Best Buy. Jeep has not turned off yet, and it has uh, been downloading music, and the stereo's been running playing music the whole time, so, uh, making the heat sink does do something, but, again, I don't have a lot of, I didn't really track this beforehand, so it's hard to remember, but, you can compare it to what yours runs at, if you're watching this and you have the same pit unit, so, I'll keep tracking it here, and we'll test see, obviously, this is anecdotal evidence at best, but it's something, right, alright, we're going to score Alright, so, I'm back home now, I made one more trip after Sam's, or after Best Buy, and we're going to launch CPU-Z again, 6.04 p.m., still showing 93 degrees, Jeep still showing 99 degrees. We're at our standard 42.4 here, and... Now we're showing 70, 66. At one point, this dropped to 56 when I was sitting still after the Best Buy video. So it kind of bounces all over the place, but hasn't got much higher than 70, if I recall correctly. So uh, I'll have to go back and look to see what it was when I originally installed before I originally uh, put the heat sinks in. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So I'm probably going to stop this video here and go set to compare here on see the heat sinks work a lot. Alright.